What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another video. In this quick guide, I'll be taking you through installing and using Auto GPT. This is an incredibly exciting project, but it can be a bit daunting to set up in the first place, and that's exactly what this video is here for. I'll be quickly running through the installation steps and showing you a brand new one-line install command that you can run now to install it. It's part of a new series of one-line install scripts I've been making. These do take quite a bit of time and effort to create, so if you enjoy these or find them useful, please do click the thanks or join button down below. Without further ado, let's begin. Auto GPT is an experimental open source attempt to make a GPT-4 fully autonomous, which is the sparks of AGI that you've heard about. Essentially, it can think for itself and do tasks by itself in order to accomplish overarching tasks that you give it, etc. There's a little video demonstration of exactly what it does here, but you'll find this in the description down below to look further into what it is. This video is just going to cover installing it and getting it to a place where it's usable. Scrolling through the table of contents, this page is absolutely huge with information on setting it up. And you can see here the star history, which is basically the popularity of this repo, has absolutely exploded in the past few days. And that's exactly what we're here for. Well, you can visit this page linked down below to read more about other APIs and things you can link with it to make it more featureful. But for the most part, this setup is going to cover everything you'll need for a basic installation. And of course, you can customize it to your liking later on. Over here, they talk about requirements. You'll need an open API key, but we'll get here later. Optional memory backend, 11 labs, and a whole bunch of other API keys that aren't mentioned here. And on top of this, we also need Python installed and ready for use. Don't worry about any of that. This script should handle all of it for you. All you need to do is make a new folder somewhere on your desktop or something like that. I'll call this AI tests. And inside of here, at the very top, simply click in an empty space here to select the path of the current folder, right click and copy. Now, usually I'll tell you to type in PowerShell up here, but we need to open PowerShell as admin as it needs to install a few things. Hit start, type in PowerShell and right click Windows PowerShell, run as administrator. Inside of here, type in CD space and inside of quotation marks paste in using right click or control V the path that we're trying to get to. Then you should see we're now inside of this folder. All we need to do now is type in IEX space inside of brackets IRM auto GPT dot TC dot H team. You'll find this linked down below. Simply copy it, paste it and hit enter. Now the automatic installer should start. And here's a little warning about using OpenAI's API key as well as other APIs as some of them may cost you money. This project, unlike some of the other AI projects I've shown you can cost you some money, especially if you're not aware of what it's doing. Essentially, it reaches out to OpenAI and other APIs in order to collect information, get information or think for you. This AI project doesn't actually run on your PC. For the most part, the language model runs in the cloud using GPT-4 or GPT-3 from OpenAI. So you don't really need powerful hardware at all in order to run this, but it does mean that you may be paying a few cents to a few dollars depending on how much you use this program. Anyways, with that understood, I'll hit enter to continue here. And now it'll start installing Chocolatey, then a Git. And shortly after, if you have Midiconda or Anaconda installed, we'll be prompted about using it. You don't have to choose yes if you don't want to use Conda Activate Auto GPT every time you run it. But anyways, if you use Anaconda or Miniconda Python, you probably already understand what's going on here. For most people, you won't even see this at all if you don't have those programs installed. I'll choose no here just to use normal Python. As I already have Python 3.10.10 installed, it doesn't need to automatically install it for me and it'll simply skip past it. Now we need to get some information from us in order for this to work. Should you not want to fill in this information here, copy the env template to just env and fill in the information there, but let's do this automatically. So should you not trust the script, you'll find a link in the description down below to the complete source code of it. And you can also see the source code by visiting the IRM link in your browser. Anyways, this .env template file you'll find inside of the new auto GPT folder in the folder we made here, and you'll see .env.template. Just make sure that you click view, then show on Windows 11, followed by file name extensions. On Windows 10, you'll see under the view tab, file name extensions somewhere here up on the ribbon. Essentially, it'll be renaming this file here. And if we open it with Notepad, for example, you'll see exactly what we're editing. This file is incredibly confusing for people who haven't looked at something like this before, but essentially we're just setting variables. So for example, open API key equals your API key. 
The script at this point will automatically ask you for some of these variables. When it has your answer, it'll fill them in automatically in this file for us, so we don't need to get lost in it. But just remember, you can come back here afterwards to customize it, especially this section here about 11 labs. If you want to get it to speak in a certain voice, whether it's your voice or someone else's voice, you can set your 11 labs API key here at the very bottom and the voice IDs you'd like it to use. Anyways, we'll be continuing with the automated one line install. We need to get our open AI key. For information on how to get your OpenAI key, see this, which links back to the GitHub repository, for which we can either drag around and right-click to copy, or you may be able to control-click it to open it in your browser. Heading across to this page, you'll see we just scroll down on the same GitHub repo we were on previously, Open API Keys Configuration. To obtain our OpenAI key from this link here, I'll open this in a new browser, you'll need to have an Open API key for AutoGPT, and you need to have billing setup, aka a paid account. You can set up a paid account here. So on this first page, I've already signed in and you can see existing API keys here and I can create one by clicking create new secret and give it a name such as auto GPT. I will be deleting these afterwards, so don't go through the effort of typing them out yourself in hopes that they'll work as they won't. On the billing overview tab here, you can see I currently have a free trial. We need to head over to our usage page to view how many free trial credits we have remaining. And on this section here, you'll see that we have nothing. So we'll need to set up a paid account all we need to do here is click set up paid account. I'm an individual or a company and fill in some information. Unfortunately, this is the biggest barrier of entry to this kind of thing, but this is a brand new one of a kind experiment that really hasn't been done before. All right, so there we go. We've now activated our paid account and they've taken $5 from our card. If we check the billing history, you'll see information on it here, for which there's nothing just yet. Anyways, at this point, it's a very, very good idea to click usage limits here here and set an absolute limit for the usage on your account. Hard limit, I'll set to maybe $5. Soft limit, where we'll get a notification about using lots of API tokens, etc. I'll set to $3. This way, when we hit $3 usage, it'll tell us we've used $3 and at five, it will stop letting us use the API completely. I'll go ahead and save this. Now, with a better usage limit than $120, I'll head to the usage tab, where you can see we currently have up to $5 on our account. Back to the API key here, I'll copy this as we'll now be using it in the PowerShell window. So I'll right click to paste it or use control V. Now we'll hit enter and it'll ask us for an 11 labs key if we'd like custom text to speech. I'll be skipping this, so I'll just hit enter. Then we can use a default free text to speech instead. Being Brian, I'll hit yes and enter. Now we can enter a Pinecone API key in order to use memory from Pinecone, which is essentially how the program remembers things, but you can leave this blank and it'll use a JSON file in the folder as its own memory. So I'll skip this for now. There we go. It's created this file here, autogpt.json. There we go. That's the file it'll be editing and using as its memory if we don't use Pinecone. Then a Google API key. As far as I understand, when you search for 100 searches in an hour or something like that, you'll get rate limited with error 429 from Google. Now, you can create yourself an API key on the Google Cloud, which allows you to create a ton more searches. But of course, you could be charged for it. I think it's free up to a certain point, but I'm not entirely sure. Sure, you can just skip this by hitting enter. Then it'll ask us about image generation, which by default it uses Dolly from OpenAI, should we want images to be generated. And of course you will be charged for these as we're using OpenAI's API key on our paid account. You can find prices on the billing section of platform.openai.com and pricing over here. You'll also find this linked down below. We find information about GPT-4's pricing, chat, instruct GPT, fine tuning, embedding, and finally, image models here, which is DALI. Once again, I'll be leaving this blank as I won't be using Hugging Faces Stable Diffusion instead. Obviously, you'll need an API key from them and they'll have different pricing. So anyways, I'll skip this. Finally, do we want a desktop shortcut? I'd absolutely recommend entering Y and hitting Enter in order to create a quick, easy access shortcut to this file here, especially if you're using Conda. Here we go. You can see AutoGPT. And whenever we double click on it, we'll have a new window open up that opens up AutoGPT. Awesome. From here, you can close the installer or continue using it. I'll use it in this new window so we can give it a name. I'll go with the basic demo, which they have stepped out here. So entrepreneur GPT, and I'll just copy what's here once 
once more, enter, enter up to five goals. So I'll say increase net worth, grow Twitter account, and that's pretty good. I'll leave it at just two goals, hit enter, and now it'll use memory type of local cache and think about it. Checking the folder here, you'll find that the auto GPT JSON file here will be where the memory is stored, but for now it's blank. And we've already got a response here. I should first assess my current state, blah, 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 gives us some information about what it's thinking, reasoning, planning for what it'll want to do, criticism, and use its next action here. It'll Google using most profitable industries to invest in currently. And upon entering Y and hitting enter, it'll go ahead and search Google, read about some of the results, and then think about what to do next. Currently, it's getting a response from Google. Then it'll reach out to OpenAI's ChatGPT4 to think about it. Then it'll get a response and tells us what it'll investigate next. Obviously, we can continue entering Y to continue, N to exit, but we can also enter Y space hyphen capital N in order to run it in continuous mode, though do be very careful about this as it can keep requesting things forever using tons of credit on your open AI account just asking and answering question after question after question same goes for Google searches etc you probably won't want to do this it's a good idea to hold its hand as it's working and thinking as it could possibly run away at a point and result in things you don't want happening happening anyways that's auto GPT you now know how to install it and somewhat how to use it if you found this one line install script helpful it did take quite a bit of time and effort to make, so should you appreciate it, do click the join or thanks button down below. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.